Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. It is 8.09 right now, and I just remembered that I need to feed my sourdough starter because I'm going to be making two loaves to take with us tomorrow. Uh, my cousin asked if I could make her some sourdough bread. So I'm actually going to make two because I'm going to do one plain and one cinnamon sugar. And so, yeah, we're going to feed our sourdough starter. I have two thirds cup of warm filtered water. And then I'm gonna add in a cup of bread flour. What's wrong? Hi, Kelly. You got your little wrench? So yeah, tomorrow we are leaving for the Bay Area. I don't think, I forgot to mention that. Um, tomorrow we are leaving for the Bay Area. For my aunt's funeral and then we are also bringing my mom's urn uh because if you didn't know i have my mom here at the house but my dad wants to have her buried so we're gonna bring my mom's urn and then also like i said it's gonna be my aunt's funeral so my cousin who's up in the bay she was like i think she was kind of just joking though she was like would you be able to bring me some sourdough? And I was like, yeah, actually I can. So I'm gonna make two loaves. They can share, she can share with whoever. So yeah, we're feeding our sourdough starter. Hopefully this will be ready by like 12. And then we are renting a minivan. So we're gonna pick that up at one o'clock today. And Vanessa was able to get the days off, but I don't think AJ is going to be able to come with us because he actually was just transferred to a different store yesterday. His first day was yesterday. It's a temporary transfer because they need all of the managers to learn how to work with a double drive through because their store is planning on adding um, a second drive through lane. So they're going to be sending like all their managers to that one store to train. He'll be there for three months. So it kind of sucks that they're like not able to accommodate his request. But, you know, what can you do? Okay, so we're going to let this do its thing. And we'll come back. We'll come back to it. And always, always, always wipe the dough with a napkin. Don't put it down your drain because this stuff will harden and ruin your drains. I got this little snackle box on the TikTok shop. Um, it's so cute, you guys. But um, I filled it up with snacks for us to take on our road trip. So we just have, these are like those honey pretzels, um, spicy jalapeno sausage sticks, mini Pop-Tarts, those are strawberry flavored, mini Oreos, mini Chips Ahoy, mini Nutter Butters, um, Swedish Fish, and then these are Fruit Punch Sour Bite Crawlers. So we're just gonna take this with us. Instead of bringing like a bunch of little bags of snacks, we can just bring this. And I was telling Papa Bear, this would be really nice to use for a, like you could do like a little charcuterie snackle box with like meats and cheeses and crackers. The only thing is, cause we're gonna be in the car for a long time. It's like a seven hour road trip. So I just don't think it would be good. Like it might get hot, but I think if we were going on a plane, we could totally do like a charcuterie version of this. So I'm gonna use this today. This is a travel mug that I got at Disneyland. Super cute. I know this is probably, I think this is usually for hot liquid, but I've been using it for my coffee and I really like it because it doesn't sweat. So I'm gonna use this again today and I have my coffee here. This coffee is, it's regular coffee and a little bit of decaf. And then I also added cinnamon to the grounds this time. I haven't done that in a while, so I was kind of missing that. And then for creamer, this is just sugar-free French vanilla. We went to Walmart the other day and they did not have anything good. So we're using that. And then I'm also out of heavy cream, so I'm not going to use my syrups right now. God, I filled this up like 
to the brim. So good. I'm gonna try to finish this today because tomorrow we're leaving really early. And I'm not going to have coffee before we leave because I just don't want my stomach to hurt. Or I don't want to have to keep using the bathroom. So I'm not going to have my coffee tomorrow. Yeah, our plan is to leave like before 6. Like 6 o'clock at the latest. Oh my god, so good. So I'll come back and refill my coffee after I finish, well, like when I drink most of this. And then the lid, so maybe you can, maybe it is meant for cold, I'm not really too sure, but it actually has a circle right here that's like perfect for your straw, but that's actually like where you could like drink out of, you know? And then it has like this stopper that you can close it with. So yeah, the straw fits in there perfectly. So yeah, I'm really liking this. I actually, have more of these I think they're in the garage though they're in like one of the bins I have a bin full of these like travel mugs because at one point I was like I want to start collecting these and I think I have like five or six of these and I never ever never like never ever used them until now okay guys let's go I gotta go to work we just picked up our rental they actually did not have any more vans because like he was saying that a lot of people were extending their rentals so he gave us a suburban same price of course nothing changed but it's very nice I i'll show you guys more of the car later we're gonna head home now so here is the rental the big humongous suburban this car is so huge you guys it has a really big trunk actually even with the third row up the trunk space is pretty big and you can you can program oh no way yeah, so you basically go down. Oh, wow. That's really nice. That's so easy. So you're not going in and hitting latches to pull in latches. You could do the same, too, on the left. Whoa. I don't want to do it. Cause oh, because the headrest, right? Yeah. So that's very convenient. That's so cool. So, yeah, with those two down, your trunk would be huge. And then this, I didn't see how it does that. What is it? That's if to you put hit it the. Twice, I think it's it maybe lays down. Oh, in another direction, and then let's look in here. So this is really tall, so you have to step on this footrest or foot step. What do you call this? You know what I mean. Side step. So it has the captain chairs, two of them, and then of course the whole row at the back. I'm wondering if like an if there's another version of this car where it's like a instead of the captain chairs if it's the row like with mm -hmm. so maybe it could be eight passengers because this is only seven passengers three four five yeah seven passengers and you know surprisingly this car doesn't have many cup holders i would think it would have a lot of cup holders our van actually has more cup holders than this but it's really nice we have this camera up there it's nice for driving, but the only thing is, you know, with big cars, it's hard to park. It's hard to get parking. I definitely would not like to own a car this big. It's just, it's like too big. But it's nice for driving if you have a lot of people. It's nice for the road trip. You know what I mean? Like, we were all comfortable in here. It's bath time. He has his little toys. This is the bathtub that we're using now. We stopped using the like the hard plastic ones. And then I actually tried a different one, which was like a seat, just like a little hard little plastic seat that just suctions to the bathtub. But that one scared me. Like that just didn't work out for us. So I found this inflatable bathtub on Amazon. And then it has like this right here so he doesn't like slide down. And then you actually can pump the air right here. Um, you just push this down to put pump the air in. And then we also bring this with us whenever we go on little trips. So yeah, it's really nice. It's just inflatable like that. The back has like a little backrest where he could like lean back. And then these are his bath toys that he's playing with right now. He has um, Dory, Nemo, and I think it's a Squirt, like the little turtle. So yeah, it's bath time. It's bath time. 
Look at his hair, you guys. It's getting so long. <gasps> but he's not going to get a haircut until his first birthday. I think we're going to try to get him a haircut like the day before his birthday party when we're out in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be so cute. I mean, you're already cute, but oh my God, you guys, look at his toes. Which one do you like the best? Dory or Nemo or Squirt? Which one? You like all of them? Okay, you can have them. Tell me now, tell me something Cause I don't know how this gonna to bake the bread so I have two loaves you guys know the plain one and then the cinnamon sugar one the cinnamon sugar one is like torn like on the bottom so that's gonna be seeping like a lot of sugar when we bake it so I'm gonna double this I'm gonna do one this way and then one this way This one is my cinnamon sugar. I never put this into my banneton because it's going to seep and I don't want it to ruin my banneton. So I always just use this towel, the same towel, and then I use a bowl. So we'll flip that out. And so, like, you can see all the sugar. We're gonna have to wash that. Hopefully this still comes out good. I'm gonna get this into my preheated Dutch oven. Okay, this is the plain. get this into our other preheated Dutch oven. So here are the loaves, the sourdough loaves. So this one is the uh, brown sugar cinnamon. This one had a huge tear at the bottom and so a lot of the sugar seeped out. So I'm not sure how this is how this is going to be and then here is just the plain one it's looking really good so we're just letting them cool i'm gonna cut them in half tomorrow that way they're like for sure for sure all the way cooled so we're just gonna let them we're just gonna leave them here until tomorrow morning <laughs> 